Dude, did you guys know this was a thing? I was like walking around in the Target in Sacramento and they just had these. I think they're like, they came out like maybe a year ago or something. I will try them out and let you guys know. So there's like a, some mukbang video. I'll, I'll talk about my trip while I'm eating it, I guess. You're supposed to have two tablespoons of butter, but I didn't want to buy a whole stick of butter because I'm only here for a few days. But from my experience, mac and cheese is fine without the butter. Alright, while that's boiling, let me show you guys. So, I'm in Yuba City right now, and it's like a hella random town. I was, I was just driving around trying to find postcards, and they did have, there's an antique store, which has like, hella random stuff. So, I got some postcards from, they have like postcards from all over the US, so there's like a Kansas one. Uh, and they did have they did have a bunch of like Sacramento ones too, and like San Francisco, and these are like really vintage ones. You probably can't see on the camera, but there's like a different texture to them, um, which is really cool. I like it. Here's like San Francisco, the Ferry Building. I went to like there. There's like a museum for Sutter County or whatever, and they actually had a like City of Yuba. Um, postcard. They have like a water tower in downtown. This is not a real picture. It's like a painting or something if you look closely. Here is the sauce packet. Chester's secret seasoning. I'm wondering if this is going to be cheesy or just like spicy. Because hot cheetos don't even like taste cheesy, you know. But I do have leftover cheese, so I might put some of that on. I'm gonna drain this real quick. Got the sauce. Holy shit, the lights just went out. Is there a power outage? <whistles> what the heck? There is. The clock just reset, or what the? Anyways, I cannot get it to focus. Okay, the, <laughs> the power's back. It smells like ruffles, like the green onion and sour cream flavored one. Got this cheese. I don't want to like overpower it with the cheese, but it'd be nice to get some goo going. Uh, there. Dude, look at that. That red. Oh fuck, you like drip oh shoot. Look at that red cheese. Alright. Ah. Here's the final product. And I got milk too. Yeah, it really tastes like um the the green onion and sour cream ruffles in terms of the flavor. It is spicy. Mm. These are definitely spicier than hot Cheetos. Um, it's probably on par with like your typical ramen. Not like the spicy ramen challenge ramens, but like the regular spicy ones. I guess while I eat, I don't know how to mukbang. But I'm just gonna, I'll just talk about my trip. I'm in Yuba City, this is obviously not my place. I'm in an Airbnb here. And I was in Sacramento last week at Amy's place. So, I'm just gonna overlay some photos and talk about random stuff I did. So, Amy lives in West Sac. And she's in school still, so. 
So I was saying that Amy's plays in West Sac. Um, she drinks like every other day. So I drink like a decent amount, I think. Um, we went biking. It was like a 12 mile, 30 mile. I don't know, it was like one and a half hours or something. And that was fun. We did a lot of hot tubbing. Um, the first weekend, it was not raining, so I actually was able to like sit at the park and just read. I was really relaxing. And then I went to the corn maze with Deanna. The world's largest corn maze, supposedly, apparently. I never went when we were in Davis. Um, oh yeah, I drove to Elk Grove to get turkey toggle pockets. I'm gonna show you guys. I got a dozen, I already ate a bunch. But, ta-da! If you guys remember these, the good old days. These are so good. They were um, 20 bucks for a thousand, which is not the cheapest, but I think they're they're way better than hot hot pockets are not what they used to be. Those are definitely better. Oh, and then we went to the bank, which is this place where you can like um, pour your own beers. It was pretty cool. And then we went to a speakeasy. And then I hit my limit. I was like super passed out at the end of the day. But it was a cool place. Um, and then we went hiking to that waterfall. On the way there, you pass by California's tallest bridge. <laughs> and then you got some drone shots of the of the waterfall insert here and then I helped Amy pack a bunch of her shit is in my car right now I need to give it back to her when I go back um and then that weekend the second weekend I went glamping I was at a hip camp it was like raining most of the time which kind of sucked but it was still relaxing. Um, I stayed in this like water tower and they have like this outdoor kitchen and stuff. It was really nice. There's like, I think six different like things you can rent out there. From them is the place I stayed, the water tower. And then there was only like two other people that came together that were there. The other units were like empty. So it was literally just me and two other people sharing the whole land. Um, so the two other people, they're like these two white ladies from Santa Cruz. Well, they work in Santa Cruz. One of them's from Alabama. Another one's from Utah. They're labor nurses. And I guess they met in Santa Cruz at work. And so one of them is like super hard for a hip camper. She's, I think she said she's done like 11 or 12. And she's done so many that Hipcam has literally sent her gifts of like mugs and stuff for like being such a good customer. We made pizza together. There's a pizza oven at the kitchen. There's a sauna, which. So I was in a. I've like never been to a sauna before. But I guess you're supposed to be naked in them. They were already in there. And then. I was like, I was gonna join later. So I walked there and then they were both naked. And then she was like, dude, it feels so good. You have to get naked. It was like, feels way better. And then, so me being like, I'm like super like self-conscious, but also super non-confrontational. So I just like agreed. So I was just in there naked with them. <laughs> But it was still chill, it was fun. Um, we just chatted in there. And then there's also chickens on the land. So the next day there were some eggs from those chickens. And so I had ramen and I just had some farm fresh eggs in, <clears throat> in 
in there as well. Yeah, I don't know, a little cool place. I would definitely go again. It's definitely like the kitchen area is a cool hangout area. Although I feel like if there was like six different groups of people that came, it might be kind of crowded in the kitchen. It would be cool if it was like one big group renting out a couple of those units. Is my mouth red? Oh, oh, there was also a, there's like an outdoor bathtub. I didn't use it because it was like super rainy. They used it. I guess they just had like an umbrella while they were in the bathtub. If it was not raining, I would have. It would have been cool to like sit in the bathtub in the middle of the night and look at stars. That's pretty much it. I did a bunch of reading. Electricity's back. But um, yeah, I read this book on Diana's Goodreads. It was called, uh, I don't remember. It was basically about this dude who's like a priest, but he basically helped gang members in like LA or was it LA or San Francisco, I forgot which. Basically helps them like rehab rehabilitate and like become a part of society again. But it was a very good book actually. It was very interesting. Some nice clothes in there too. And now this week I'm in Yuba City. Nothing here really. <laughs> Almost done. Well, I still have some in the in the pot. I mean, this is pretty good. I'd, I'd recommend it. Not like a thing you'd eat regularly. I don't know if you want to eat spicy mac and cheese regularly, but it's a good snack. I think you definitely need to add your own cheese in though. Otherwise, it wouldn't be cheesy. Ooh, it is spicy. I'm feeling it. Not like too spicy though, but it's just like, yeah. This would be perfect for like a winter night. Mm. Go try these out in select Target stores. I don't, I don't see these in like Cupertino or anything. So I don't know. All right. That's the end of this video.